I tried to show you how to find a reverse complement and strain of a piece of DNA sequences. Um, just for the sake of simplicity, let's just do a very short piece. Uh, about 30, nucle 30 nucleotide. I copy this. Uh, copy. You can actually say it's on sign C on Apple. It may be a different shortcut on PC. So I copy this. And then I say file new. And this time I paste this. So that's a small fragment of DNA right there. So, and then I select this. Uh, I'm going to uh, go to a new, se new sequence again. Instead of paste that, I'm going to say find out the reverse complement strain. Uh, edit, paste, reverse complement. Uh, the two strain is reverse complement on that. Uh, so I have a TTAGC. I'm going to just verify the the end sequence. So we know the first one is five prime on the left and uh, three prime on the right. So this the complementary is also five prime. So this has to be start from the right hand side on the top sequence. So this should be AA. That should be TT, and this has be CGC. TTCGC. TT. Oh, sorry. TTAGC. TTAGC. So at least the first five nucleotide is correct. And you can also verify the last. Uh, five, right, so, and um, this is the T. It should complement to A. That's A should complement to T. So ATG should be uh, complementary based on this. Right? So I mean you can verify the the rest of it. 